Hello, today we are going to try to fix this absolutely beautiful automatic trash can that have got quite interesting problem and cannot automatically change the bag. The bag is going to be sealed properly, but the new one is not going to be loaded. And let me present how that looks. So we are powering it on, we go like this, and as you can see, it is not replaced. So I will press this button, I will hold it down, and we are going to hear the motor spinning, but there is no suction inside, and the bag is not going to be sucked in. So it is quite interesting. And we are going to be opening it, we've got the alarm, and the bag wasn't changed. I've got second unit that we can use for spare part. So we are going to be starting by opening it. For the task you should be using a proper pry tool, but sadly mine was lost, it was bent, and we have to use the surgical knife. But this is not the correct way to do, and we have to undo those two Phillips screw. We go like this. I absolutely love those trash cans and I use them for many years. And on my channel you can see a video when I was fixing it. That's why it's got a opening mark. And the opening is going to be much easier than the first time. And we have to slide that panel down. The best is to do it like this and push into that area. So you go like this and let me push it. And you can go like this. And here you can see those latches. And they are being clipped into those parts. So we are sliding it downward. That's the motion that you have to do. On other videos we were replacing that battery, but this time we are interested in that part and I can see and hear the problem. As you can hear it is scratching. So we are going to be disconnecting our motor. This is the blower that is creating vacuum. We are going to be undoing those four screws. And it's either going to be as simple as pressing that blower into the shaft or we are going to be swapping that unit. So here it is just a blower. I will see what's going to happen when I press it downward. Will it go like this? I don't see, I have feeling that something is broken here. That shaft doesn't look good. Most likely it was spinning while it was stuck and it was melted. So I think we are going to be doing a whole that assembly swap. So let me put it aside. Here I've got a donor unit and as you can see, I do not have the board because it was already used. But the blower part looks exactly the same. So we are going to be trying swapping it out. Okay, absolutely. Beautiful, and it will go there. And this one we can remove. We go like this, we apply our four screws. We 
we have not checked whether the plug is the same, but looks like it fit properly. We are going to be putting it back, so we align it properly and we push it. The best is to do it like this and it nicely clipped. We have to put our two screws. We go like this, then we go like that, and we are gluing back our fits, just like that, so you cannot see that any job was done, and hopefully, hopefully we are going to switch it on. We go like this, I will turn it on, and we are going to be pressing that button, and I will try to lift it, so we can see whether we've got a good fix. And as you were able to see, our bag was nicely sucked in, and we've got a good fix, so as you can see, by that simple job, let me try it, we were able to save this device from going into a landfill. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you find that interesting, see you next time, and bye bye!